Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning at Del Norwigans Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Eighty degrees out here. Can you believe that? Eighty degrees already. Most of you know where I am. I am in the skybox right now, up at the north end of Area 3 at the park. Partly cloudy this morning. Temperature's probably going to get up to around 90 today. It's going to be a warm one. But hey, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that share button. All the birds singing in the background. Well, let's take a little stroll on the beach. See what's happening. Who knows? Who knows what's in store for us this morning? I'm just gonna walk down to the north end of area two to the other boardwalk just to the south here then turn around and head up towards Wiggins Pass beautiful sky this morning So many holes on the beach this morning, stepping in all kinds of holes. Water is looking pretty darn good. Looking really nice. No smell of red tide. So far, so good. Can definitely smell this seaweed here, this red drift algae along the shoreline here. Can some smell that starting to dry out. All in all, it looks like another glorious morning here in paradise in North Naples. Our little piece of heaven on earth. Looking for a little patch of sunlight hitting the water here. 
just to get a better look at the clarity. Doesn't look too bad here. A little cloudy, could be clearer, but not too bad. All right, well, I think I'm gonna hang a Yui here, do one of those famous Florida U-turns, head up towards the pass. Feels like we got a nice little breeze coming out of the south. Cool things down a little bit as the sun rises. Good morning, good morning. Any turtle action down there? No, I just came on. So okay. I, I don't see anything. There was a ranger in the woods. I don't know if he had been checking. Huh. We're taking a break. We're taking a break. No, he was working at a bucket. And oh, yeah. They, they bucket, picked. The bucket and spade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was emptying the barbecue grills. Yeah. Oh, God. Yep. That's, that's what they do with the, when you see them with the bucket. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, not yet. I just came in at oh, at did. the skybox there. Okay. And yeah, they were three open. and open early Yeah, I like that. Terrence was yeah. just heading out, taking his kid to school as I was coming in. He so was. Terrence, oh, he Ranger was. P. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. he just left the gate open. Oh, good for him. <laughs> yep. I mean, there was some. It, there was uh, Malcolm. That's who's in the gate, the gatehouse today. Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm. Yep. The college Yeah. He's our. He's our. I think he's our newest ranger. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, I've seen him, but not that, you know, for not that. Yeah, he's nice. He's kind of quiet. <laughs> yeah, he had a nice greeting with him this morning. There's no, there's no ranger like Terrence. Oh, my gosh. Are we blessed or what? He is the best, isn't he? Oh, my heavens. He's positive. Yeah, he's always smiling. Smiling. Waving, and he's got his arms know, waving at you. I know, I know. What a I mean, that guy loves his job. We yeah. got the best park manager, oh, I think, sure. in the state of Florida. For sure. For sure. <laughs> I'll vote in number one. Absolutely. Yeah. I'd give them my vote for number one. They need to have a contest. They should do that. Well, hey, what do we got here? A snake? What the heck is this? Oh, my goodness. Is it a deal? <laughs> an eel? <laughs> yeah, since it's the water. Yeah, yeah sea snake, an eel. And then. A shark. Oh, cool. What's left of a shark yeah. over here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, somebody was busy. At least it's not a big hole. No, you know? Yeah. Now it's not the time for holes on the beach. Yep. And, and uh, I've seen them go down. Oh, you've seen people fall? No, yeah. Yes, yes. Roy took a tumble in one one morning. Of course, we used to come out and well, while it was still dark mm -hmm. back in the good old days. Yeah, yeah. back when you had 24 hour access. Yeah. I miss those days. Yeah. Well, I miss the early. I'm just hoping they open it up a little earlier so we can catch oh, sunrise. Where'd you? Oh, dead fish. Mm -hmm. He's been around a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that looks like a cat. Long. Looks like a dead catfish. That red tide's still out there, yeah. but fortunately, it's not yeah. right here on the beach. I didn't. I didn't smell any anyway yet. All right. Oh. Oh, you mean with no people on it besides us? It is nice. <laughs> I don't mind a couple people, you know, here and there, but. As long as they, as long as they let us know they're coming. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful morning. 
Have a great day. It is a gorgeous morning out here. Yeah, water's not... I was hoping it was going to be a bit clearer than this. It's still pretty cloudy. It doesn't have the red tide look. It's just got that churned up cloudy look. And of course, we still got these clumps of this red drift algae. I don't know what it's going to take for that stuff to go away. And when you hear that term red drift algae you know it's a type of sea we don't get it confused with red tide something totally different it's relatively harmless to humans and marine life it just it's just ugly <laughs> when it washes up on the beach like this and then it smells bad when it starts to dry out and rot away Just part of the circle of things, the circle of nature. It comes and goes, you know. You just deal with it. Mother Nature, she knows best. Good morning. Every time we try to interfere with Mother Nature, it seems we screw things up worse. Someday, someday, maybe we'll figure it out. Start taking a little better care of our waters and our planet. Looks like to the north of us, they're going to have another big mess on their hands here soon with this blue-green algae, thanks to Lake Okeechobee and the irresponsibility up there. I think after the years and years and years of fighting and people complaining and protesting that They'd have it figured out by now. They'd figure something out, but nope. Promises, promises, and nothing happens. They just dump that crap into the waterways and kill more marine life. And who knows what else they're doing to the environment. You never know. What effect does it have on humans? You know, that's the big, the big question. What does all that junk do to people? We're actually doing a study now to see what effect the red tide has on people. That'd be interesting people that have been around it for long periods of time. I don't know where our dolphins are. I don't know where those dolphins are at. Have a great day. All right, now we're out in some sunlight here.
some pretty thin clouds up here this morning so far, some little thin wispy ones. Go check out some of this railroad vine up here on the beach, the beach morning glory. Starting to creep out here onto the beach. Pretty soon we'll probably start seeing some little purple flowers on it. Those little purple morning glories. It just kind of goes dormant. And then all of a sudden, just boom, once we start getting a little rain, it starts popping up again. So beautiful when it blooms. The railroad vine. This area will be covered with it. you can see over here it's just starts I don't know how fast it grows it seems to grow pretty fast it just starts crawling out onto the beach it seems to grow pretty darn fast and there'll just be a carpet of little beautiful little purple flowers up here there's a couple spots like this where we have the morning glories, the beach morning glories. This is the very south end of Area 4. I don't know if there's any new nests on the beach, any new sea turtle nests down at the south end. Haven't seen any action here between areas two and three. Any new action. Hey, thank you for those stars. That is awesome. I appreciate that. Believe me, every dollar counts. I love coming out here and sharing the beach with you, helping you get your day off to a little brighter start. At least I hope that's what's happening here. And I hope you've made some really neat friends in the mornings here, some wonderful people following along. As you know, I really don't care what you talk about here in the comments. The whole idea is just to engage each other in a conversation if you don't know somebody and introduce yourself let everybody know where you're watching from you might find somebody from your neck of the woods or your, even your hometown watching you never know share your hobbies your interests what kind of food do you like everybody likes to talk about food what kind of seafood do you like you don't have to talk about the beach this beautiful beach is just this is, I call it our clubhouse for our social gathering in the morning. All right, the water's a little clearer here. A little clearer. That's nice. Seems like now, as I'm making my way north, it's getting clearer. The tide is on its way. Uh, it should be going out by now. It was just about high tide. It might be still still coming in or I'm sorry low tide it might still be going out but it's very close to turning here and starting to come in it's 
it's not an excessive low tide, a low, low tide. Here was our first loggerhead sea turtle nest on the beach. We discovered that yesterday morning during our walk. That's number one, sea turtle nest number one at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. So that's exciting. The girls are coming. The girls are on their way. The girls are back in town. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Loggerhead Sea Turtle Nest Numero Uno at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Let's hope we have a busy nesting season and a successful nesting season this year. Let's hope we don't get any big storms to wash the nest away. Beautiful. So they number the nests kind of the way they find them on the beach. They usually start their patrol down at the south end and work their way up north to the north. There's some of our beautiful sea oats out here on the beach. Always beautiful. The little island of sea oats out here. I love taking pictures of the sea oats. I think they're so gorgeous. Not much of a breeze right now. Very still. So those of you wondering about Roy, he's at home resting again today. He's not out at the beach. So do keep him in your thoughts and prayers, please. Pray that he's comfortable.
this is the widest stretch of beach right now in the park and it has been for a while up here in area four this is the most sand looks like down to the south from what i could tell in the past few mornings area one's kind of getting a little skinny when it comes to the beach looks like the south end of the park's getting pretty skinny It's amazing how this beach changes. Sand comes and goes. Boy, a big difference in the temperature already in just the half hour that I've been out here. Already starting to warm up. Warms up fast once that sun gets up over the trees. Oh boy. Well, looks like we had a little false crawl here. Let's see here. Got some tracks over here. Got a set of tracks here. Sea turtle tracks. Looks like she just kind of did a little horseshoe walk up here. These are the tracks coming out of the water. This is where she came out of the water here. This is the female loggerhead sea turtle track, the crawl tracks. Came up the beach. Doesn't even look like she made any attempt. Something must have startled her. She just hung a U-turn. Kind of a U-turn. <laughs> and return back down to the water. So we had another crawl here, a false crawl. But it's good to see that they're coming, that they're on their way. So she'll probably make another attempt tonight if she didn't go up on the beach somewhere else last night. Boy, it heats up fast. What? It heats up so fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, what a difference. There's a nice breeze though going south. I don't see why you stay down there in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> yep. Just always amazing to me that these sea turtles that are coming to this beach, they 
were born here. They returned to the place of their birth. This is where they were hatched. Oh, do I see a gopher tortoise out on the beach? I do. Making his way back to the woods. Whatever go for it. I think, or it's a coconut. It's going to be one or the other. Nope. It's moving along. See, these guys in the morning, they come out for a walk on the beach just like me. He's looking for Roy. There he is. One of our little gopher tortoises. I don't want to startle you, buddy. Give you plenty of room. Plenty of room to crawl on by. Go ahead. Isn't that cool? Now, this is a tortoise, not a sea turtle. These guys can't swim. They have big rounded shells, toenails, no flippers. Don't mistake them for a sea turtle and put them in the water. You'll kill the poor thing. It'll drown. I think they bury, you know, they lay a clutch of eggs just like the sea turtles. I don't know where they do it. Back in the woods or lay the eggs. There's a great look at a little gopher tortoise. I wish he was out in the sun, but... Making his way back to the woods. I don't know if they're coming out here to get a drink. I don't know if they drink salt water. I know it's kind of dry back here. They usually drink out of little puddles and things. Cool. So we saw a loggerhead sea turtle crawl and then a little gopher tortoise crawling along the beach here back into the woods. That's so neat. We saw one not too long ago out really close to the water during one of my beach walks. Whatever you do, don't touch these guys. Keep your hands off them. Give them a little space. Take pictures, take your videos. Please don't let your kids touch them. I've seen people letting their kids hold them for pictures. Don't do that. As a matter of fact, you're gonna get in trouble if you get caught doing that. Show some respect for our wildlife here. The reason we have wildlife is because they don't feel threatened here. he or she all the blue beautiful little wild flowers up there he's just stopping to check out the wildflowers I don't know if he's going to take a nibble on anything while he's out here we did catch that one the other day eating out in the parking lot Got a great little video of one of these guys eating. If you scroll through my videos, you'll find that. Staring at something in there. Get down to his level. It's level. Just 
chilling out. There he goes. Great look at a tortoise. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Off he goes into the sea grasses. Nice. That was cool. That was fun. That's what makes these live feeds so much fun. You just never know what you're going to see. There's a lot of those gopher tortoises back in here. Not uncommon to see a gopher tortoise, but it's always fun. Hey, I do appreciate those stars, thank you. Your financial support is what keeps me going here. It's what allows me to come out here and do these live feeds in the morning, spend time at the beach with you. If it wasn't for your support, I'd have to be doing something else in the morning to make ends meet. So if you like what you see, send some stars. Even better. Become a regular monthly supporter of Southwest Florida Television. You can send a tip. If you'd like to send a little donation, a little, as I call it, a token of appreciation, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And out of all the support methods, that is where I get the most of the money. Facebook gets kind of greedy, takes a pretty good percentage of the support money, and you can see how they take the money out of those stars. But the PayPal, that they take the least amount. And actually, if you send a little contribution, if you can figure out how to do it, if you say, send money to Rob Stan versus send money to Southwest Florida Television, pay Southwest Florida Television, they don't, they, if you do it to Rob Stan, they don't take any cut out of it which is nice so thank you guys for being a supporter guys and gals I say guys I don't know why you all are awesome speaking of awesome beach family prayers anybody needing prayers don't hesitate and sharing your prayer requests here in the comments. Prayers for yourself, a family member, a friend, even one of your pets. It doesn't matter. Whatever prayers you need, you don't have to go into a lot of detail. If you're not feeling well, if you need prayers for health or prayers for strength or guidance, whatever they might be, let our beach family know so you can be added to their prayer list.
If you're just tuning in, good morning. Happy Wednesday. We're up in North Naples, Florida at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Just walking north along the beach, enjoying the sights and sounds and the friendship, the camaraderie of our beach family. As you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Glorious. Another Chamber of Commerce morning. Temps are already in the low 80s. This coming Thursday, early afternoon, 1.45 p.m. Thursday, not, I'm sorry, not this coming Thursday, a week after this coming Thursday, a week after this coming Thursday, at 1.45, anybody that would like to just come over to the Naples House of Omelets, which is up in North Naples, Florida, just going to have a little get together any of our beach friends that are in the area if you'd like to join us at naples house of omelets i'd love to meet you they have no problem doing individual tabs there great service fast service great food great people so if you'd like to spend a little time with some members of our beach family come on over i'm gonna make a little event page for it i forgot to do it yesterday i meant to do it this morning and i got sidetracked so put that on your calendar if you're in town. Love to have you join us. It's my, it's, that is my favorite breakfast spot here in North Naples by far. Breakfast, lunch. A lot of times I'll go for lunch, but I'll have breakfast. You can get breakfast or lunch. They're open from 7 to 3. There is a house of omelets in Cape Coral, and there's also one in Fort Myers as well, a new one in Fort Myers. Same menus, same great food, just different owners. I'm gonna step out into the water here. I haven't been in the water yet this morning. Ooh, lots of little fish swimming around, little tiny ones, maybe an inch, an inch, an inch and a half long. The clouds are starting to roll in now, covering up the sun every once in a while. No big deal. Kind of cools things down for a little while. I haven't seen any dolphins popping up out of the water here.
more sea turtle tracks. Hmm, don't see any more crawl tracks here. Just people crawls. Only people tracks. A couple cooler crawls. <laughs> I'll see one here. Cooler crawls. That's those little flat tracks that your cooler leaves with the two little wheel marks. We call them cooler crawls. Sometimes they look like sea turtle crawls when you first see them from a distance. So we are up at the north end of the park. If you're not familiar with Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, we're up in Area 5. The north end of the park, this is where you would come if you want to go fishing. You want to go all the way up to the north end of the park if you want to do some fishing. No fishing allowed down to the south end, swimming only. No swimming in the fishing area. Pretty simple rules. Can't consume alcoholic beverages in the park. I know, kind of a drag. A lot of people like to have a nice cold beer or something with their at their barbecues, but that's the rules. No pets out on the beach. You can bring your pets to the park, but you can't have them out on the beach. They have to stay behind the dunes. Basically, they have to stay back in the woods there, back in the picnic areas, the nature trail. No pets on the beach. Occasionally, we will see a sea turtle come up onto the beach up here at the north end of the park, up at Wiggins Pass. Sometimes up in this the area up here with all the dead trees, we'll see them weave their way around all the dead trees. And we've seen them up in here, up on this little pathway up there. We've had nests up in there many a times. Their objective is to get as high up into the dunes as they can. The higher into the dunes, the better. As you know, we do have some pretty good storms in the summertime here, and we get some pretty big waves, and those nests aren't up high and protected. A lot of times they get washed away. Good morning. I've actually seen crawls up we saw one went just about up to the edge of the parking lot one time. Crawled through one of the picnic areas under a picnic table right out to the parking lot. Then turned around and came back. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, those sea turtles. They're like little bulldozers just plowing their way through the sand. It's clouded up a lot now. There's the prayer tree. So this is got it. This is low tide now. Might the tide's probably just turning now. Rose, you gonna come to, gonna join us for lunch a week from Thursday? Love to see you again. Love to have you and Jennifer join us. It is beautiful, isn't it, Barbara? I love it. It's so neat when we catch a few birds perched on these old dead branches. Thanks for beautiful pictures.
keep moving up the beach here. There's the sun up there. The sun and some clouds. morning. Wish you could be here walking the beach with me, but this is probably the next best thing. There's Wiggins Pass to the north here. That's the northern boundary of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, Wiggins Pass. And on the other side of the pass is Barefoot Beach, Barefoot Beach Preserve Park. That's a county run park. Beautiful, another beautiful beach park. Del Nor Wiggins has a mile of shoreline. It all depends on high tide if it's beach or just shoreline. Across the pass, Barefoot Beach, that's over 6,000 feet of beach over there. A lot of walking. Here at Del Nor Wiggins, the parking lot is very close to the beach. You're not far from the beach. It's very easy access here at Del Nor Wiggins, which is why so many people love it here. we ask anybody that visits this park is please leave it the way you found it if possible leave it a little nicer than the way you found it if you see some trash pick it up do your part to help out let's keep this place beautiful respect it enjoy it
Now, this is interesting. Where I am right now, this is kind of new sand out here. Got a little more beach at this right at this corner here. Kind of interesting. There's actually a few shells down here on the ground. I'll take a quick glance here and see if there's anything interesting down here. Being the tide is out. There's a little shell line here, but not really seeing much of anything. Nice little ridge line of shells over here. In between waves, you can see the little ridge. Well, I think I'm going to end this live feed and start a new one here shortly. So stay tuned. Go take a coffee break. Grab a bowl of cereal, whatever, a Danish, a donut. I'll be back in a little while. Make sure you're set up to get notified when I go live. We'll continue our walk up around the corner along Wiggins Pass. So hopefully I'll see you later this morning. If not, please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. See if you can figure out how to share my page here check out all of my photos and videos when you see something you like hit the like but also hit the share button spread the word share the love bringing wonderful people like yourself together one beach walk at a time that's the mission here that is my mission to hook you through this beautiful beach and bring you into our beach family. What a great group of people we have here. Well, if I don't see you later, stay safe, stay healthy. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.